Next up, we're going to be creating menus. By menus, I mean the pages. You can add pages, categories, and you can create your own custom menu. Um, if we go to the front of the page, you can see that our menu is currently being set up with all the pages that we currently have. However, you can change this quite a lot. Two places to change it, you can either come to the front page, you can click on customize, and you can go to menus right here. This will take you to your menu option where you have to create one. Another place is coming onto the back end and going to appearance and then coming down to menus and they will both do the same thing. So what we need to do first is we need to create your first menu. You can have as many menus as you want and you can display menus wherever you want during uh, your WordPress site. You can have them in the page, you can have them on the sidebar. We're primarily just gonna make the primary menu which is gonna go at the top. And that's going to be great for navigation. So I'm just going to add the menu one for this one. Display location, I want to display it in the primary menu. And you can choose anywhere else that you want to as well. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to create menu, and we're going to create our primary menu called menu one. So if we click on the little view all tab here, we're going to see all of our uh, pages that we just created. So we want to add the home, we want to add the blog, services that we offer and WordPress help and support and we can now go add them to menu. As you can see now we have our menu items, this is our menu right here and they're going to display as separate entities. If we want one to be a subcategory of another one we can let's say for instance we can change the WordPress to go third. We can then put services that we offer a little bit to the right so if we just adjust it a little bit to the right this will now be a sub item of the WordPress help and support. Meaning that you have to go, you have to hover over WordPress help and support to then show services that we offer. Not only that, you can actually make lots of different other menu posts. If you have a post right here, you can actually add the post as a menu item. If you have categories, we don't actually have any categories created yet. We'll do that shortly. However, if you do have different categories, you can also list these as menu items. Let's just go ahead and save this one. Then we'll go back onto the site and see what it actually looks like. Now, as you can see, we have our home page, we have our blog page, and of course, they know where to go to now because we changed that in the read part of our settings and we now have WordPress help and support. However, when we go on to WordPress help and support, we also get the services that we offer button. If we click this now, it will take us to that page. And because we have everything else set up, if we go to the home, it will take us to our home page. If we click blog, it will take us to our blog page. So just to show you with the categories as well, let's go to posts and then categories and let's just make some categories. So I'm gonna add one category called migration for migrating WordPress sites. We're gonna call one called security. Don't forget to add the URL slug as well if you want it to be in particular. And then we're gonna to go to add new category. So as you can see now, we have migration and security. Now, if we go back to our WordPress site, we can now add these to the menu as well or any other menu we create. If we go to customize, of course you can do this from the back end. However, it actually is probably gonna be a bit easier for you to do it on the front end because we can get a live preview as we go. So let's go to menus one more time. We're gonna click on the menu that we already created and we're gonna add some items. Now from here, you can see that we have even more choices um, included in the choices are also custom links. So now let's go ahead and add some of our categories because we have now got the two categories. We can go plus, we can go plus, and this has now added it to our menu. So to sort this menu out now, we can put the WordPress up here. We can then have a subcategory of the WordPress help and support, which we put it underneath. And then we can make subcategories of that subcategory. So if we drag this to services that we offer, again, a little bit of jar to the right from it. We're then gonna to go to publish. You're gonna see that um, if we're gonna to have to go over WordPress help and support. And if we wanna to go to services that we offer, you're gonna to have to hover over that and it'll take us to migration. Again, if we add both migration and security as a subcategory of the services that we offer, we're gonna to go to WordPress help and support. You're gonna to have to hover over services that we offer. And then you can finally work your way to the categories and click onto that category. Menus can be used anywhere on your site. You can create a secondary menu, name it menu two. Um, let's go to next. We can add a few bits, let's say for instance. Let's add the migration and the security. So now we have a menu two uh, with migration and security. So now let's say we wanna add our menu to the right hand side. We can go to the widgets section go to main sidebar. We're gonna search for menu and we're gonna add a navigation menu right here. Once you've added the navigation menu, you can title it. So put menu, I'm just gonna put menu two just so we remember, and then we can then select the menu. So I'm gonna select menu two. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we should see that we have menu two and we have migration security. So there's lots of different ways that you can basically add your menus. You can create new menus and use them in different ways to navigate around your site. 